what's happening guys so I'm gonna lead you guys to this video and teach you guys what this is all about going through these situations going through the motions of this type of loss going through a breakup with a narcissist getting discarded which is the worst thing that could happen because you meant nothing to them all along and they basically used you as a doormat. So I'm going to teach you, teach you guys how to cope with emotions following the discard of a narcissist. You're going to feel quite shocked at first. You're going to feel like it's a dream. You're going to feel like, how could this happen? And you're going to feel like they took a piece of you with them because they did. But this is up for you guys to understand on the deepest of levels that everything that's happened to you is all within themselves. Everything they put you through is how broken they feel inside themselves. Broken people will break people. Hurt people hurt people. They will hurt you. They will dig their claws into you like a hawk. Into you like a bald eagle picking up its prey. They pose as a cute little Kirby cushion but they're not. They're a viper. They're a bald eagle with long, sharp claws. And when they dig you in like that, they do you wrong like that, now you have to deal with the damages that's been caused. To deal with your own emotions after these things happen, you basically have to take it one day at a time. And um, understand that that's what it's going to take. Every day away from the date that it's happened is a day closer to you recovering fully once again. You just have to get through the days, brothers and sisters. You just have to get through the days to feel like yourself again. It feels like the person you were with literally died. They don't even exist. The person you fell for, the person you loved wholeheartedly, never even existed because they pretended to be that person to get you to like them, to love them. But they're not that person. There's something completely different. They are heartless. They are cold to the core of their being. They are cold. They don't have real emotions. They don't love for real. They don't grow a bond and an attachment for real. It's just an act. So you actually commit, you actually grow a bond with the fake image that they're showing you. But when it comes down to it, they were never that. So technically, you have fallen for someone that did not even exist. They put on that act. So dealing with these things, guys, like I said, you have to take it one day at a time. You have to try your best to keep your head up. You have to eat good foods, drink your liquids, force yourself to keep yourself up and active. Because staying down, being stagnant, <clears throat> is probably the worst thing for you. 
you have to be active and then you have to rest. Resting is good. I'm not saying never stay down, never sleep, never take a nap, but just repeatedly staying still, not doing anything good, not forcing yourself to get up and exercise and move around your body and, and eat good foods. You're just gonna depress yourself even more. You're gonna make the process even harder. But if you can force yourself to eat clean, drink good liquids, take care of yourself, watch some good content, then you will be able to get up, you will be able to do things, and you might have to force yourself to do that too. You might have to force yourself to do everything. And when I say force, what I mean by that is your mind might not wanna do certain things. You might not wanna get up and prepare a healthy-ish meal or whatever. You might not wanna get up and drag yourself to the gym and drive there and go there and get dressed and, and work out. It's all in your head. You are capable of doing it. And if you think you're not, you're letting this get defeated. Something you're doing is not right. You're allowing your own mind to keep you stuck. You're allowing your own mind to keep you stagnant. And that's not what you want. Because it's going to depress you further and further and further. And you're just going to wallow in sadness and not take any action. So, if you can just keep yourself up, if you can just get on routine, if you can just continue to go forward, you're going to heal so much faster, guys. Because you're focused on doing things that you want to do. The focus is not on them anymore. The focus is not on loving them anymore. How could you love them? They don't even exist. But the focus is not loving a person who doesn't even exist. The focus is you now. The focus is taking care of yourself now and not putting them first. Because they get in your head, bro, to make you put them first. And you start to lose yourself. You start to lose everything about yourself. Your health declines. Your mental declines. Your energy declines. Your muscle mass decreases. Everything decreases. Your bank account will decrease. Your health, your mental health, your physical health. A narcissist will make... All of those things decrease. So that's what you guys have to know. You can't let the narcissist get that far in your head to emotionally stunt you like that. It can be a shocking thing to go through, but you have to view it for what it is, guys. You have to view them exactly for what it is. It's not your fault. It's not your fault that they are like that. You didn't do that. Something happened to them to make them that way. So, you have to view it as it is. You slipped up. You got manipulated. You got, you got lied to. Things happened. And you just have to take that L at the end of the day not let that make you view everyone like that. You just have to learn from it. And you have to find out who you're dealing with when you deal with other people in the future. This isn't just about relationships either. It could be friends you had that put on an act to be your friend to get things out of you. It's just as damaging. Because when you lose a loved one, when you lose someone who's close, someone you considered a brother... It's not easy. Getting backstabbed by those people, it's not easy. I've been there. People you pretty much took care of. Same age as you were, but yet you were taking care of them. That's the thing, man. These, these individuals are hollow inside. They don't have anything to give because they can't work themselves in a position to get anything and to keep it because... They're pretty much addicts of everything. They're just hollow inside. They're empty. They're, they have no empathy. 
They don't feel emotions. They don't, they don't feel anything. They just, it's whatever. So going through this stuff, bro, it is tough, but this is how you have to cope with your own emotions after dealing with a narcissistic breakup, a breakup with a narcissist. This is how you have to cope. If you view them like still on a pedestal, you view them like and you look back at like their best self, how they acted towards you at times when they acted good, you're gonna damage your own mind even more. You just can't do that, guys. You just can't do that. Maybe that person is who they could have been if they were healthy, but it's not who they are. So you have to stop viewing them that way and view them at face value for what they are. Hurt people, hurt people. Damage people, damage people. So when you're with one, when you're in an entanglement with one, it's going to sting. And it's going to sting real bad, but it's up to everybody to be able to learn how to deal with that. You can rest. You can take your down time, but you can't stay down. You might feel exhausted in the very beginning. Just rest it off. Just ease your mind. Take some ashwagandha. Take some Irish sea moss. If you guys want the best Irish sea moss, go to the link in the description and check out Organics Nature. It's Black Friday sale. That stuff is very good. I actually just took two capsules before doing this video. They'll probably kick in in about 25 more minutes from now. But it's very good stuff. Fights inflammation. Calms you down. It just makes your energy crisp. It makes your energy so to the point where you're kind of living in the moment and your mind and, and everything isn't all over the place and you're kind of just set in stone, stationary, feeling good. So that helps. That's what I mean, guys, the right supplementation. Um, feeding your body the right things, resting, uh, exercise, keeping yourself aligned, you know, it's not about falling off. It's not about letting something and some demon get inside of you and just control you. You have to control you. If you feel like there's something controlling you to keep you from your best self, that's a demon, bro. That That's something that you and only you can overcome. I can't do that for you. I can tell you how to do it. I can't get in your body to actually take the action to get rid of it. Like, you have to do that. And everybody has to do it if they go through things. So, it's a learning curve. It's a learning process and... Um, it is tough to go through, but if you go through it once and it hurts you badly, like once you overcome that, it'll never affect you the same way for the rest of your life, for the rest of your human years. It will not have that effect ever again. I'm not saying it won't do anything. It will not break you down like that. It'll not have you in those circumstances. You'll be a lot stronger. You'll be a lot more resilient. You'll be able to move on a lot easier. Why? Because you're familiar with it. You've been there before. The same thing again. The same thing again. The same thing again. You lived it before. I've lived it multiple times. It's to the point for me, it's just another day. I've been there many times. I've been to hell and back many times. And hell is not something I'm afraid of anymore. And I mean to go through it. Nobody would want to live there. Nobody wants to go to hell. But we are capable of going there and coming back. Nobody wants to go there and stay there. Like if we pass away, we ain't going to hell. But 
there's a thing called hell on earth. And that is where a narcissist will take you. And it's up for you to cope with what has gone on, to recover from that, and to make sure that you are you again. You are exactly what God has made you to be once again. Because the devil is doing things on earth, folks. And he's trying to get a lot of good people to go to that side. And we ain't going to that side. They can try to get us there, but they're not going to succeed. There's a lot of people who go through things. There's a lot of people who go through things in life, man. And um, if they let it break them down, they let it cripple them to the point it changes them. And they can't get back to themselves again. That's our job. Because life is going to happen. Sad times are going to come. Bad times are going to come. Hell is going to come. What are we going to do about it when it comes? Are we going to resort to drugs? Alcohol? Cigarettes? Partying? Lusting? We don't do none of those things. I don't party. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't have lustful behavior. I don't have bad addictions. Period. Period. Get me away from that stuff. I don't even drink, period. At best, wine once or twice a year. That's it. At best. And I don't even care to do it when I do it. It's just the occasion called for it, I guess. I could have not done it. Like, I don't ever have to drink for the rest of my life. I don't even care about it at all. And I don't need to have a good time with that. I can have a good time without that. I can be social without that. I've gone out a while ago, a long, long time ago, uh, without drinking. I, and I've done it many times. And I can be social with people who are drinking when I'm not drinking, but they can't. So... Yeah, man, that's how you know you're probably in good health. Unlike 90-some percent of the world who let life life them. Don't let life life you. Don't let these narcissists get over on you to stunt you emotionally. Come back to who you are. Build yourself back up. Allow yourself to feel even down when it's going on in the very beginning because you can't prevent that, but you have to take it one day at a time and keep living your life and remember to do the things that you like to do. You have to put the focus on that because that's how you find yourself. What has made you you in your life? What's made me, I'll tell you this now, what has made me into me is doing things that I like to do. Sports, gym, fun activities, adventurous stuff, beaches, walks, work. Learning, growing. There's a countless amounts of things that makes me me. Now the list goes on. That's what you need to focus on because a narcissist will take you away from everything you loved and they will make you not even like that because you lose yourself. If you were yourself, you would like those things. They pull you down so deep to the point you have no interest in much at all. Because they got in your head. They warped you emotionally. They, they, they just took everything out of you. They drew everything out of you and they leave you with nothing. That's what they do. They're almost programmed to damage you purposely. That's why you have to protect yourself when dealing with them. You don't want to grow close bonds and attachments with them. Because you're in over your head if you do. They are programmed to tear you apart because they are tore apart inside. They're doing you that same way. Don't matter how good of a person you are. In fact, if you're a good person, they want to do it to you even more because they want you on a level that they're on. Now, I hope this video could help. This is the end. And um, this is the end of only this video. It is never the end on my channel. Don't forget to follow me on IG. Exact same username as here. 
on YouTube. And with that being said, guys, I'll see y'all in the next. God willing, God bless, and we'll see y'all at the top.